adding value to your relationship. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Relationship Thursday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplify Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Now, this particular conversation deals with the fact that you'll hear people mention a high-value woman and a high-value man. My thing is we always need to clarify our, not clarify, separate people from what they do. This is why you hear me say that love is unconditional because I can love you as an individual and totally disagree with the things that you do in your life because they have nothing to do with each other. And that to me is the same conversation when we talk about high value. For me, when I hear a person of high value, whether we're talking male or female, I think of the things you guys always hear me talk about is the internal stuff. I think of integrity, character, which are the things that, I took, that I'm always talking about. Those are the things that you should be looking for in a partner. So when I hear a high value man or high value woman, that's what I'm thinking. A person that's classy, a person that has, again, character and integrity. I'm not thinking money. But our society tends to want to put the tag money to symbolize high value. And, and again, the reason I want to distinguish the difference is because I've said before, a person can have the utmost character and integrity, great value, and not have the money. And then there are people with a lot of money who have no integrity and no character, so I would not classify them as a high value person. Their portfolio their financial programs, which are separate from them, may be valued at a higher level than most because they're earning six-figure or seven-figure income. So their portfolio is of higher value, but it doesn't make them a high-value person. Does that make sense? And so that's why, to me, I wanted to clarify the difference in, in terms of when I hear high value, I'm expecting it to, to run across a person that has great, just a class act, as we call it. And, um, and I see too many people that have the high, the, the portfolio or the financial that's of high value, but them personally lack any kind of class. And um, so that brings us to how do you? add value is just that. You have to work on being a person of great character and a person of uh, high integrity. And by that I'm saying, as a man, you need to learn to value your partner and what she brings to the table. Ladies, you have to value the guy for what he brings to the table. And again, you guys are hearing me say this, and, and the reason I'm kind of talking the way I'm talking is so that you really get what I'm trying to say here, and that's that um, separating the two. Um, you can become a person, because especially as you get into, because guys, for example, most guys, the more income that he makes, it is true, He's no longer looking for, in, in a lot of instances, a woman who has the high value portfolio. You guys follow me? That she has all this stuff, which unfortunately a lot of ladies want to throw that out there at a guy who has a lot. And it's not going to be an attraction from him. It's going to be a distraction um, because he is going to look for someone that, Again, a lot of guys, and you guys have heard me say that before, a lot of guys that have money uh, are looking for, because they have the, the external stuff that the world is talking about, they don't need your external stuff. So if that's what you're throwing at them, like, well, look at me, this is what I have, and this is making me a high-value woman, this, you're not going to get him that way. He has to see what makes you different than other women. How do you pull him in 
in terms of uh, the attraction, uh, which is the internal stuff. That's why you guys keep hearing me say that. Get that together first because you'll see ladies that um, the world, because you guys know, I, I as I've said before, and if you haven't seen my video, I talked about I am a 10 and I'm perfect. And for me, you should always see yourself that way. So I'm not saying uh, uh, your goal is to make him or her see you as a 10. They have to see you as a 10 or it's not someone you want to be with. And that's why I said we're not talking about physical beauty, which that could be. But what I was getting ready to say is you'll have ladies that maybe the world doesn't necessarily see as a 10. But she's with a guy that people will say is a 10 and people are going, how did that happen? And it's because they brought the other stuff to the table, not the portfolio that people want to keep throwing out there and looking at FICO scores. And all, all. That's, you know, like I said, the more that a guy actually is earning, the less he even cares about a woman who has that. He is looking for the other stuff, the internal stuff. Um, I, I remember a song, and I think I brought this up before. There was a song where the guy basically said that. He was like, uh, basically says, I'm like a millionaire or whatever. And that was kind of, it was a song. And he's basically saying just that, that I got the money. I got the external stuff. He says, so what are you bringing to the table? Because he was pretty much saying, if you can cook, well, I can get a, I can get a, a, a chef to do that. Um, he says, if it's just sex, I can find, I can get women just to have sex. So basically what he was saying is all this external stuff, again, that I keep talking about that people keep making a major issue. What he's saying is he's financially well off. So what's going to make you different? Because if it's the external stuff, I can buy that. I'm in a financial position, and that's why I say it. So if you use that to flaunt in front of a guy who does have a lot, in most cases, it's not going to be an attraction. It'll be a distraction um, because it'll be like you're maybe in a power struggle with him. And this is why, and this reminds me of a conversation I was having uh, with a family member, matter of fact, because she was telling me, she's like, yeah, because I need a man, a strong man a man that puts me in my place. She said, cause you know me. And I laughed and I said, well, first off, you ain't gonna never let a man do that to you anyway. And she started laughing. She said, well, yeah, that's true. So, and I said, but then secondly, this is not a man put you in your place conversation. You're an adult. Why do you believe you need a man to put you in your place? This is called a maturity conversation. In other words, why are you putting your man in a position, in other words, that you're challenging him to where he would need to put you in your place? Um, and so that's really what this conversation boils down to. And that's why I'm saying, what are you bringing to the table? And a lot of times, and, and, and some young ladies mistaking, um, challenging and, and being strong with your man is showing that you're a strong woman, you're a tough woman or whatever. And for a lot of guys, that's a turnoff. I mean, because the fact is there's there's boundaries in all relationships. There are lines that you should never allow a person to, to, to cross. I don't care about their financial uh, portfolio. There, that's called standards. <laughs> there are certain things you're just not going to put up with. I don't care how much income they have, they do have or they don't have. Just certain things you're not going to allow people to do. And I think that's kind of what I'm getting to here is that's why that's the most important thing. And that's how you add value to your relationship is work on your character, your integrity. Uh, being a person that you can be proud of when you look in the mirror, forget the, 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 the income perspective, the portfolio that people want to judge you by. When you look in the mirror, can you be proud of the person that you see? Because when, it, when we leave this earth, that's what people are going to judge you by. That's what your legacy is all about. What did you leave behind that the world says, wow, they had value? And folks, it ain't going to be just because you had money. 
because is that what you want when it's all said and done? Your family could say, well, he lacked character, but he left us money. Or she had money, but that's all I got out of her. Folks, legacy is built on integrity, character. Whether you have money or not, people walk around and say they added value to my life. You guys see what I'm saying? That's why I say there's a difference between what I consider high value and a portfolio that it that is valued highly because of the amount that it is. Um, and so keeping those two different now, folks, there's nothing wrong with having it all. If you guys hear me say all the time, we're, fortunately we're in a country you can't have it all. You can have character, integrity, and money. So you can have, so you could actually be a high value person as people want to call it. Um, if you have the character, integrity, and the financial, you got it all. Okay, if you want to throw that tag on a person, I'm with you. But I don't look at it that way because the first thing I'm going to, when I hear that, my first uh, observation is going to be, if I hear they're a high value person, I'm looking at character and integrity first. Then we can look and see where they're at as far as the financial. Not that that's important to me at all anyway. To the world, it makes a huge difference. To me, that doesn't matter. I'm more concerned with who you are. That's why you keep hearing me saying this is about self-love. Love the person in the mirror. Um, and then at the end of the day, you can be proud whether you had what people call a high value portfolio or not. None of that matters. And so the key is once you get clear, get your character, your integrity, then guess who you're going to attract? Another person of high uh, integrity and character. And guess what? You guys will have a portfolio which the world calls it a high value. Why? Because people with high character and high integrity do the things that are needed to create a value. You know, the, the, the portfolio, the high finances that the world talks about. And so if you, if you do, as they say, don't put the, uh, the, the cart before the horse, that's, that's, that, that's the horse. You see what I'm saying? That's what's going to be out front, the in character and integrity. We can go build the, the, the cart, you know what I mean? And so, but anyway, I, I hope that's pretty clear on what, for me, when I'm saying high, add high value, I'm saying make sure you get you together first. Add that to your relationship. And again, we can add the, 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 the high value, the high portfolio that the world wants to talk about. We can create that together. And again, ladies that do have the, 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 the portfolio, because that's, while I'm thinking about that, because that's, that's a challenge too, because a lot of people will, will uh, while I, you know, I'm glad I caught that before I, I, I closed out here. But the reason I say character and integrity versus the portfolio because you'll have a lot of people that are actually making a lot of money but they're also spending it so technically they're still broke from the world's perspective financially they look well off haven't you haven't you guys heard how many players and stars and you know you name them that had all this money what the world calls high value but because they didn't understand money, because of lack of character, because of lack of integrity, they've lost it all. That's why I said, for me, don't get caught in that. They're two separate things. We want to be a person of high value, which is character and integrity, with the money, and we'll do the right things. So again, as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Now, for those of you who haven't had the opportunity to, to, to check out everything that I'm doing, run over to ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, that's ronsimplifiedmyers.online. And as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Work on the high value, which is you. It's always you. That's why people that have money that are so scared, scared to lose it because they haven't figured out where the real value is. The real value is them not the money. And this is really my whole point of this video. It's not the money. It's the individual who creates the portfolio. 
that the world wants to call the portfolio means you're of high value and they're not the same. I hope you guys got that and I hope that's clear. Become a true person. When we say high value man, high value woman, it's because you have great character, great integrity, and you're also taking care and making your portfolio high value. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.